Hey everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, we will be doing a puppy haul slash what I think my puppy needs haul slash what I wanted to buy for my puppy haul slash puppy essentials, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting a brindle bull mastiff. So if you want to see what I got my new puppy, then keep on watching. So first, just to get this big old box out the way, I do live, ugh, ugh. I do live in a apartment and my upstairs has hardwood floor. My downstairs has carpet and he is a baby. So I know he will be having accidents here and there because of course he's not potty trained yet. So just so I don't have a stinky apartment, I bought the Bissell Pro Heat. And I also bought, I also bought the Bissell Stomp and Go Pet Stain Lifting Pad, just in case we are like in a rush and we can't break out the shampoo. Or I'm pretty sure we won't be shampooing every day, maybe once a week or maybe twice a week until he gets potty trained. I'm going to be on my puppy, so I'm pretty sure it won't take him long to be potty trained. Um, speaking of potty training, we bought him a porch potty. So pretty much the porch potty is, I'm going to put videos and stuff up of, um, of the porch potty. So pretty much it is like a, ba it's not a basket, but it's like a, I'll show you. So like I was saying, it's like a wicker basket type crate and it comes with turf on top so when he goes to the bathroom it it goes down into a hole down there and then underneath is like a basin that catches it all so this is what the porch potty is i'll let you guys know how effective it was they have this thing called turf tastic where it cleans all of the nasty stuff off of it maybe i'll review that um, what else do we have to keep our apartment clean? We have um, Nature's Miracle Hardwood Floor Cleaner. Like I said, we have hardwood floor upstairs. So we got this for the upstairs. And then another stain and odor eliminator. I'm really, I'm not going to say I'm a neat freak because I'm really not a neat freak. I just don't want a stinky apartment. Like I, don't, I want somebody to walk into my apartment and not know that I have a dog unless they hear him. Right, I'm trying to keep everything like in category. So cleaning, smell good stuff. Um, I also bought the Oxy Clean Dirt Fighters Pet Refresh for the carpet downstairs. I'm serious when I tell y'all I do not want my apartment to stink. So I bought a whole bunch of those. I also went on Amazon and um, it says creamy vanilla pet odor eliminator candle. And um, it smells so good, it's so strong. It smells so good. And it says it has stuff in there to help with a uh, pet odor. So I bought two of those. What else? Some more plugins. And I don't know why, but I feel like the plugins were way cheaper when I bought them on Amazon. And it's like a whole bunch of refills. I think it's like, like 10 of these refills in a box. Maybe for like eleven dollars. See, I also bought the um, Airwick Pure Twenty Four Seven Odor Neutralizer. It's the things that go on the wall and automatically spray. So my favorite scent is the Fresh Linen. I feel like that smells. It always smells super clean, but it's not like cleaning products. It smells like y'all know what Fresh Linen smells like. It just smells like clean and then it came with two um of the fresh linen um automatic spray refills so i'm gonna keep up on these but i think that is it for like apartment cleaning essentials so i'm going to push this out the way and then we can move on to something else next i guess we could talk about uh training so I bought him some puppy pads. Ooh. Ugh. I bought him some premium puppy pad, potty pads, leak proof waste mats for dogs. And um, 
I was looking, I was doing a lot of research on how to use the puppy pads because if I'm laying puppy pads all over my apartment, he's gonna think that it's okay for him to go inside as long as it's on a puppy pad. So I forgot who and where I, I saw this, but they were saying with a puppy, you're supposed to put them down, but not all over, maybe like two upstairs, two downstairs. And then once he gets the hang of, oh, okay, well, I'm doing good. I'm always going to um, positive, positively, I'm always gonna positive, positive reinforcement, right? I'm gonna use positive reinforcement. So I have a whole bunch of treats for him. Like when I see him doing well, I will give him a treat. So if he goes on a puppy pad and he knows that, okay, well, if I go on this pad, I'm gonna get a treat. They say, move it closer and closer to the door. So like, let's say I have my puppy pad next to my couch, right? He goes on it and he knows he's supposed to go on it. Next time, next thing you know, I move the next one towards the steps. So when he has to go, he'll be looking for the puppy pad. And then next time I move it to the top of the steps. So the closer he gets to the door, the, the more he knows like, okay, well, I gotta go outside, I guess. I don't know, I have seen it, I'm gonna try it. And if it works, I'll let you know. I got two leashes. Um, he is going to be a big boy. His father is um, 140 pounds and his mother I think is in the 120, 130 range. Um, both of them are absolutely beautiful. Um, his breeder, I talk to her almost every single day she sends me pictures and videos and updates of him almost every single day. And when I tell you, I appreciate that so much because it's like, I'm not there to watch him grow physically, but just having all these pictures to look back at him when he was um, two weeks old, three weeks old, four weeks old, it's like I got a chance to watch him grow and I'm very, very thankful for that. But I do see that he is growing at a very fast pace and um, I know he's gonna be a big boy. So I, didn't waste time or money on getting a small harness. So I got the medium, I got a medium harness. I'm pretty sure it might be a little too big on him now, but I know he'll grow into it within the next two weeks and I don't want to keep buying different harness. Um, I got one that's very, very sturdy. I got this off of Amazon. Um, it also comes with the seatbelt attachment. So when we're in the car and all that stuff, he's, um, He's secure and he's safe in the back seat. Um, speaking of back seat, I bought him um, a car seat hammock. My mom, she has a, well, he's still my dog too. I just don't live with her, but she has a Yerky Montese mix. And every time I would take him to get his hair cut or if I were to take him to the park or whatever, he would have hair all over my front seat. And I'm like, okay, my dog is about to be way bigger then he is, so I'm like, let me get this car seat hammock. I think I got this off of Amazon. No, I think I got it off of Wayfair. I got this off of Wayfair and um, it hooks up in the in the back seat of your car. There's no way our dog will end up sitting in our front seat because he's just too big. He's going to be way too big. So he has the whole back seat to stretch out and do whatever he needs to do. So I got this and he won't be making a mess with the drool and hair and all that stuff. So we got this. Um, the other leash that I got, it's like a, a training leash. So we got him a whole bunch of treats, like a whole bunch of um, training bits. And we're gonna put that, I'm gonna put that in my fanny pack and it comes with the little hole so you can put the, um, the waist bag just in case like he poops and all that stuff. You have everything in your waist. Um, it also has different pockets in here. So you can put like, it has like a section where you can put your phone, your car keys, your ID, whatever, depending on how long you're gonna be out. And when I tell you I'm going to try my best, I am going to try my best to train my dog the best, to the best of my ability. Because the worst thing that can happen is having a 140 pound dog drag you down the street. Like I, That's one of my fears of me walking my dog and he sees another dog and gets excited and wants to play and the next thing you know like he i don't i don't think i can hold a 140 pound dog i can't stand when i'm going for a run up the street 
and people are holding back their dogs not only is it scary for the owner it's scary for me like i don't want to get bit or jumped on by your big ass dog that's why i want my dog to be as well behaved as possible i want to mingle him with a whole bunch of other dogs there's a whole bunch of dog daycares near me so maybe like a couple days out the week he can go play with the other dogs meet new people um yeah do a whole bunch of stuff like that so we have both of these leashes training leash regular leash so i'll throw these over here they're both very good quality very very sturdy um his training bits that i will be using um his breeder says that they love uh animal crackers so i'm gonna buy a whole bunch of animal crackers i feel like when i am training him we will be outside for long periods of time or if we go to the park or whatever i know he's gonna get thirsty so I bought one, um, it's this collapsible pet water bottle. I thought it was a good idea. So you pretty much fill it up with like ice cold water. You flip it up. And I think I bought this either off of Chewy or off of Amazon. You flip it up and then it has like a little cup holder and the water comes out and your dog can get something to drink. It also has the uh, clip so you can clip it onto your leash and I will be doing that too. Me and my boyfriend do work. We both have full-time careers. So, and we're both on the same shift, six to two or seven to three. So that's a long period of time for our dog to be in the house, you know, by himself, not being able to go outside and all that stuff, especially as a puppy. I downloaded this app called WAG and pretty much a um, trained professional will come into your home, walk your dog, feed your dog. Um, I think the shortest, the shortest amount of time they can walk your dog is for 15, it's 15 minute walk, a 30 minute walk and a 60 minute walk. And they feed your dog, they play with your dog, we do all types of things um, so that your dog doesn't get lonely, so that you know that your dog is being fed and all that stuff. So the way it works is they send you a lock and um, you hook it up like on your front door or on your balcony or whatever. And you put your keys in there and it's, um, the code is only shared between you and the wag walker. So when they come in, they're the only person that can get your that can get into your home. Bought cameras for my home so I can see, you know, how they're handling him and all that stuff when I'm not home. Um, I bought these off of Amazon. They hook up to my um, both of our smartphones. So that's that. So I know he'll be taken care of when we're not here. Okay, we can get into grooming. Um, we bought the Arm & Hammer Super Deodorizing Shampoo, the Chi for Dogs Oatmeal Conditioner, and we bought two dog deodorizing sprays. One's called Magic Coat Cologne, and then the other is the Chi Deodorizing Spray. Um, we have, um, Deep Cleansing Pet Wipes. Um, we're gonna be outside and all that nastiness, so I don't want him to walk track stuff like we take our shoes off at the door so we're gonna wipe his paws down you know if he gets his face dirty wipe his face down just in case like we already gave him a bath or whatever something real real quick to clean him up we bought these um we bought these grooming gloves so like when we're brushing him outside or if he's in the tub or maybe not use these in the tub but like if we're outside and we're gonna like you know brush them down get all the extra hair off of them groom them we got these for him um i also bought my mom's dog does not like getting his teeth brushed at all i don't think any dog likes likes to get their teeth brushed but we bought uh, the no brushing oral care water additive to help fight plaque and tartar so it says put a cap full of this into their water they, it says it doesn't have a taste. It doesn't have a smell either. I smelt it. It don't smell like nothing. He won't know that it's in there. Um, we bought the plaque tooth wipes to clean their teeth and their gums. So as a as a puppy, I'm going to start doing this when he's young. Um, I'm gonna wipe his teeth down and all that stuff. Maybe like once a week. Um, I watched another YouTuber. I forgot what her name was, but she showed me this bowl. And it's like a grow with me bowl is by Pet Zone. And it's very, very cute. It matches my upstairs. And um, it comes with two large bowls. And it grows with your pet. 
so when you first have it, it's like it lays flat like this. And then when he gets a little bit bigger, you attach the legs. You attach the legs like this, so it's just a little bigger. And then when he gets full grown, so now you have a big feeding station for your dog. So I feel like with having a big dog, you're going to have to rebuy certain things because it's just, they're going to outgrow it. So why not just get it the first time? We also got him a um, mat for underneath his bowls, just in case he starts to make a mess. We also got him a container for his food. Okay, we will crate train him. Um, he has his cage over here. Um, we will crate train him. Um, we're not gonna use the crate as a punishment or anything. I want that to be his safe place. So if we're not home and I, he can't be trusted, you know, to stay out by himself without getting into things because puppies like to wander and all that stuff. So um, we want his crate to be as comfortable as possible. So um, we got him his crate. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on like crate training and stuff like that and they say that puppies like they bark and whine a lot in their in their crate because like they see people moving around it so like if I'm walking around of course he's gonna hear me but if I'm in my room trying to sleep and he sees shadows or whatever going on outside then he's gonna bark because he wants to know what's going on outside of his home so we bought him this cage cover um, off of Wayfair, either Wayfair or Amazon, we bought him this cage cover and they say it's a good, it's good to soothe and calm uh, your dog. So I bought that. If he doesn't like it, I just take it off. It's not a huge thing. Um, I bought that. Um, so I bought him this gate. Um, eventually I don't want him to be in the crate all the time. Um, when he gets old enough and mature enough to be able to handle being outside the crate 24 seven, I want him to be comfortable. Um, I'm going to teach him, I don't want the crate in my room at all. I want the crate to stay in the living room. Um, but if he does want you know, to take it down and take a nap in my room, he has a bed for my room. Um, eventually the crate will be gone because I don't want him to be in the crate 24 seven for, for his whole entire life. So he will have a bed for the living room and call me extra if you want, but he has a bed for downstairs as well. So he has three beds, two blankets. One of the blankets will stay downstairs and one of the blankets will stay up here. So online, uh, I feel like my phone, I'm pretty sure everybody's phone listens to them. So a whole bunch of different puppy ads and puppy things were popping up on my Instagram. And this thing popped up called the bandana puppy and they were saying they were looking for models to model their stuff so i'm like okay well i'm getting a puppy next week so why not model my dog i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make him an instagram too so they have different they have bandanas scrunchies um and face masks so i bought the um camouflage face mask for mo I bought the camouflage scrunchie for me, and then I bought the camouflage bandana for my puppy. And we're gonna take pictures and send it to them so they can put it on their site. So pretty much what it is, is each purchase that you make goes towards an animal shelter and help. Um, the animal shelter that needs to help feed their dogs or whatever the case may be. So I'm like, you know what, I'll buy the help the cause and all that stuff. And the stuff is very, very cute. I'm sending it to them so they can post it on their Instagram. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram. They also gave me a coupon code. So whoever wants to buy, they get a discounted price. I'll put the coupon code somewhere on the screen somewhere so that you guys can help support. So the next subscription box that I got was the Pup Box. And in each box, it shows you different milestones and goals that your dog is supposed to reach in that, in that month. So they give you a whole bunch of different training and development tips. It comes with a whole bunch of different toys that's in your dog's age range. Like they know my dog is eight weeks old when I get them. So they sent me like little stuff like this that he would like. They sent a uh, Kong toy. So you put the treat on the inside and they have to try to get it out. Um, another chew toy because uh, baby puppies 
because puppies love to chew on things. So they gave me that. They gave me some more treats for him, more training treats, the beef and turkey wellness. Um, and it says, they also gave me a clean touch ink pad so I can have his puppy paw print and uh, I can frame it or whatever. They also gave me this thing called Smart Pets Tag. So this is called the Smart Pets Tag. So pretty much if my dog um, gets lost, you know how usually on the dog tag from the back, it has your name, your phone number, and your address and all that stuff just on the dog's tag. This is a different type of dog tag to where if they go to the website, all your information is on that website. So like your name and all that stuff isn't floating around like stuff like that. So this is very, very cute. And I will be putting this on my dog. And I think that's it. Um, if you are a puppy mom or a puppy dad and you have any tips, tricks, or just advice, for me um please list them down in the comments below i appreciate you guys all taking the time out to watch my video even though i'm very inconsistent but i am trying like i said i do have a job that pays me youtube don't pay me yet so a girl gotta do what a girl gotta do so um if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.